For the first time, a particle has been shown to switch back and forth between matter and antimatter states. The discovery was made using the LHCb experiment at the Large Hadron Collider, and the particle in question is the so-called charm meson. All fundamental particles in nature have corresponding antiparticles. For example, the antiparticle of the electron is the positron, which has the same mass but opposite electric charge. Scientists have known for some time that charm mesons, which contain a quark and an antiquark, can travel as a mixture of their particle and antiparticle states. This mixture, known as a quantum superposition, results in two versions of the same particle, each with their own mass, a heavier and a lighter version. The difference in mass is tiny, about 100 trillion trillion trillionth of a gram. But it's this tiny difference that researchers have now measured, confirming for the first time that the charm meson can oscillate between the two states. Charm mesons are produced in the Large Hadron Collider by smashing together beams of protons at very high energies. Even moving at close to the speed of light, the charm mesons travel on average only a few millimeters before they decay into other particles. By comparing those that decay after traveling a short distance with those that travel a bit further, scientists have been able to measure the key quantity that controls the speed of the charm meson oscillation, the difference in mass between the heavier and lighter versions of the particle. The measurement was made possible because of the number of charm mesons produced in LHC collisions. This in turn enabled the LHCb experiment to collect enough data to confirm the oscillation beyond the critical 5 sigma level. And why is the discovery so important? Because it might shed light on physics beyond the standard model, our current best understanding of fundamental particles and forces. Researchers will now want to learn more about the charm meson oscillation process. Is the rate of particle-antiparticle transitions the same as that of antiparticle-particle transitions? What controls the transitions? Perhaps some as yet unknown particle not included in the standard model. Beyond that, there's the possibility that particle-antiparticle flips of the charm meson may shed light on one of the major outstanding problems in cosmology why matter came to dominate antimatter in the universe in which we live. It's interesting that some of the biggest questions of all might be answered by some of the smallest measurements we can make.